Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us once again on another edition of Experience the Supernatural. Our God is good. And I'm here today to tell you that God is giving you a new beginning. Oh, yes. He's giving you a new beginning. Shall we pray? Father, you are the God of new beginning. And thank you for the grace and the privilege to share your word. Father, I pray that today your word will liberate, your word will set free, your word will heal, your word will lift up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. A new beginning is our topic for today. God is giving you a new beginning. Are you tired of the hold? Are you tired of, of, of where you are right now? Something new is coming your way, and this is the good news. God is giving you a new beginning. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God is making a way for you in the wilderness. God is making rivers to come out of your desert. Where there has not been things before, where things have been drying up, God is coming. He's going to bless you and he's going to make you and give you abundance of it. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. What is a new beginning? A new beginning means a fresh start. He's giving you a new opportunity. Are you tired of the whole? God is giving you something new, something you can be proud of. And let me tell you, this new thing that God is doing in your life is going to be such that it will make you to forget the failure and the shame of the past. The failure and the shame of the, you, you will forget it in the name of Jesus Christ because God is bringing something new your way. Now, what do you do? How do you prepare yourself for this new beginning? Number one, the Bible says that we must forget the past. So forget the past. He said, remember ye not the former thing. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. Remember them no more. In actual fact, get it off your system. Zap it off. Zap it off. Remember it no more. Do you know that the past can affect the future? If you lay hold on onto the past, it can affect the future. So leave it alone. Number two, believe what God has said. Trust God by his word. Numbers 23, 19, for God is not a man that he should lie. Oh, yes, neither the son of man that he should, he should repent. Had he said it and shall he not do it? Had he spoken and shall he not make it good? Once he has said it, you can believe him. Number three, prepare the song that you're going to sing. Because you're going to sing a new song because of this new beginning. Your song will change. Your life will change. New development will happen to you. So you need to prepare the song that you are going to sing. In the book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 1, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. When the Almighty God delivered the children of Israel, they sang a new song. I see you singing a new song. I see you singing a glorious song, a better song in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number four, make up your mind to follow God and not to turn your back on him. In other words, live a holy life. Live a life that is pleasing to God. And this new beginning that God has promised you will reach you mightily in the name of Jesus. Now, friends, are you ready for a new beginning? Forget about the hold. Get up from wherever you are. Get the strength of God. There's a lot that needs to be done right now. So as you are listening to me, as you are watching me right now, I want you to get up. Get up. Receive the strength of God for a new life and a new beginning. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We ask, O oh God, today that as many that are watching who are tired, please grant them a new beginning. As many who have been on one spot for too long, please grant them new beginning. As many who are watching us today who have never surrendered their life to Jesus, let your word break those stoning heart down. Father, please give them a heart of flesh in the name of God. Turn their life around and let it be well with them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Surely, God has been so good to you. We want to know, we want to share out of that uh, wonderful news of what God is doing in your life. Write us, 
Check all the addresses on our social media platform and we will ritually come back to you. And God will bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. And till next time, please continue to experience the supernatural. God bless you.